everybody welcome back so stuff has changed a little bit since the first video i went through and did a couple additions to the core game to make it a bit more mm, well interesting and make it a lot more kind of cool looking so i'm going to go over the different mods that i added to the game and then we'll go into the next video we'll start actually doing videos about i don't know how about like playing uh so, so one of the, in the first video where everyone really enjoyed the idea of doing a new Vegas play, uh, one of the guys commented that I should use mods and I just didn't even think about it. So I went through and added, uh, like about 30 mods. <laughs> so there's a lot of mods now. Uh, so I'm going to go over those real fast. Uh, first mod I added is called a world of pain. Basically it adds a whole bunch of random stuff throughout the map. So it's not longer just like a whole bunch of expanse of nothing. You'll actually have random uh, monsters, newer monsters, new things, little dinky like campsites and just kind of strange stuff just all over the place. Uh, we're still using the Wasteland Wild, right? The Wild Wasteland mod or perk. So there'll still be all that goodness uh, in the game. Uh, one other one I'm using is called Enhanced Blood Textures. Uh, it just makes it so uh, that way I can uh, have cooler looking blood when we kill people. Which is, you know, I'll take that. Eve, the essential visual enhancement. As you can see, the road quality is exceptional. The trees look just dope. The, look at that. See, look at the, even the bushes and the ground looks crazy good. Dumpsters and all the other stuff looks so much cleaner. So it's, it's really going to be an improvement to the look, like wood grain and signage and, oh yeah, lots of stuff. Um, so we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but as you see, I mean, even like wood stuff, right? I mean, just look at the wood stuff. Super good, super clean. Okay, uh, Fallout character overhaul. This one basically just makes everybody's face look a lot cooler. So you can see the faces don't look so vanilla. Like, wow, she's got like smudgies and all this kind of stuff. That guy's got lots of wrinklies. And not to mention all the different models of uh, clothing and all that. The same goes with me, if I can ever get a view of my face, but whatevs. So it'll make everything look a lot cleaner. All the textures will look nice. It'll, it'll be better. Uh, next one I did was something called Invisible Wall Remover. Kind of need that for the car mod. And yeah, we'll get there. Uh, another one which was really nice, user interface. You see how I can actually read stuff like properly? <laughs> it's not all mashed together and crap. Uh, although you're gonna love this, so check. We'll, we'll get there. I don't wanna. I don't wanna ruin the super special mod. At least not yet. All right. So when we talk to people, right? Like in the original game, oh. it was just like, ugh, such a pain in the ass. Okay, so check this out. Look, you see the scaling is actually proper. So I can see all the options in one shot. So the mod I'm using for that is called MTUI. Uh, it just allows, like, okay, I have a 16 by 9 or, uh, screen, and I'm not from 2010. So can I please have the whole thing on one little shot? And it, that's what it does. It allows you to see every option. Uh, so you're not, like, missing stuff, because that happens a lot for me. Uh, next one I'm added, it's called NCR Rearmament. Basically, it changes the NCR's um, like equipment so that they now look different, so they're not just look like someone shit on them, because, I mean, that's really, it's just brown and brown. Now it'll be like black kind of like SWAT gear with different weapons. It'll actually make it so they have different weapons. They always don't have service rifles. They have like different stuff, so it should be very good. Uh, next one I added is com called New Vegas Bounties. Uh, you guys might have noticed all those Wasteland Rebel people, like, out front in the saloon. This one will, it's a part of that. So, basically, characters randomly throughout the game will be like, Oh, yeah, you know, I need you to hunt this guy down, or this and that. And it adds a whole different element to the game, and another good way to make some caps, too. Um, plus, the immersion factor, because you can imagine people have got some business in the Wasteland. Uh, another one I added was called New Vegas Stutter Remover. Basically, this makes it a lot cleaner when you're moving around. You don't get any, like, blah, 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 just in case. Um, 
the texture packs. Yeah, that's really what we're going for now is texture packs, as you see. Uh, I use the ultra version, which is like there's three packs that had to be downloaded. It just changes stuff like um, buildings and objects and weather and makes everything look really nice. So, I mean, you guys can tell I me. Mean, just look at the freaking roof. Look at the, look at the big horner. Like, they look a lot nicer. Like, shit, even barrels look nice. Okay. Uh, then, anti-crash, which is another mod that I added. Just, again, trying to minimize the amount of boom-booms that'll happen. Um, who are you? A wasteland hero. <laughs> okay. Uh, then Project Nevada. This is the big one. Check this out. I'm going to hold left. That is sprinting. Yes, sprinting. And I want to like use a spear. You see the spear in the bottom right? Hold G. And you can actually just get to your your wep your like grenades or whatever. You can cycle through. If you have a bunch of grenades or mines or whatever, you can just cycle through them. And then, oh my god, I want to use that. Okay, great. And then you can you can go, oh yeah. And you don't even have to change anything. That's super nice. That's super nice. Uh, there's other stuff. So if we look at the config menu. This is the other thing I added, which is the config menu. You'll see stuff like uh, inventory sorting and bullet time and dynamic crosshairs, which, oh yeah. Certainly make me horny, which is nice. Uh, as you see, look at the crosshair in the middle there, right? There it is. That's better. If you crouch, it gets smaller. If you up, boom, 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 boom. That is really, really nice. You got to like that. Okay. Uh, next down the list is there's a couple one. Uh, running the Lucky 38, which means I can actually run the Lucky 38 when we get to New Vegas. It'll kind of be a while uh, in this playthrough, even though, really, I almost got to New Vegas playing the original one, but then I had to mod everything, so I had to start fresh. So, yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, the mod configuration menu we just saw, uh, which was just lets me do mods. Uh, another mod I added was called the New Bison Steve Hotel and Lucky Casino. Basically, just makes it so we can actually do something with that. The when we get to to prim, it'll be a lot nicer. Uh, we'll be able to go in there and take possession of the bison and upgrade it and really make it nice and a good way to make caps. Uh, plus, it just looks a shitload nicer. Uh, added another mod called the Some Guy series. Basically, it just adds a whole bunch of quests and it's required for the bounty mod to work. Uh, next one is called Unlimited Companions. It means it's I can have up to 6 or 12 companions at any time if I really want. I just like it because there's some times where you're just like, dude, I want my whole crew with me. And then there's other times where I just want the one. So it kind of gives me a lot more choice, which I actually kind of like. Uh, Wasteland Fauna Overhaul. This one kind of goes along with the texture packs, but makes it so trees look nice. See, look at the trees. Grass actually looks good. These little palm things look really nice. Uh, corn, you know, shit, even corn looks a lot nicer. Look at that. Howdy. Uh, agave and all these other things, they look a lot sexier. <laughs> Jeez. These guys are all over the place now. Or even tree stumps. I mean, shit, even look at that tree stump. It looks a lot nicer. So that'll be a good improvement to the overall feel. Uh, then weapon mods. You notice how cool my 10 millimeter pistol looks. How about we swap that out too? Check this out. The laser pistol looks dope. Did you hear that? You get like extra sounds. And look at the little, look at the little, oh my god. The little pointer. You actually get a crosshair, like a decent iron sight. Look at that iron sight. Sexy. So it'll redo all the weapon mods modules in the whole game everything looks a lot nicer i mean just ah so much nicer okay and then uh, weapon mods x which basically just makes it so every gun has like three mods you can add to it just adds a lot more modification possibilities to the to the weapons and then i think probably one of the cooler mods is 
uh, X car. So X R E cars. Oh, let's sprint over there. <laughs> yes, you can actually drive cars. Chet actually owns the key to this one. I have yet to unlock that ability to get that key, but we can drive cars in this game. Yeah, no shit. You actually have cars in the game, so we can take advantage of driving around, which might be more fun than doing the fast travel thing, um, immersion-wise and whatnot. So anyways, that's the mods I'm going to be rolling with for right now. Uh, again, I don't know if there will be adding more uh, in the future, but if there are, they'll always be in the description. So at the time of the videos created, all the mods that are in that video are always in the description. Uh, just like a lot of my other modded series I did before Skyrim. Uh, so you'll have the name of the mod plus the uh, URL. Be aware that you're probably going to have to do a bit of dicking with your mods as far as load order and uh, cleaning up some stuff. Um, and you have to be really careful when you're to read the description of each mod to make sure there isn't things you have to add to like your preferences file, your startup INI, any of that other stuff. Um, but if you do mods and you do enough mods in this series, like Fallout or Skyrim, you know you need to use loot, right? Load order optimization tool uh, in order to help you out. And then there's another tool called FN Edit or Fallout New Vegas Edit, which will just basically run through all your mods and just see how they all load. And if there's any errors, it'll tell you exactly what where you need to have a... Um, like something's up. Um, be aware that this loadout, you're going to need the Old World Blues mod. Uh, but if you don't want it, you can find the mod that requires it and remove it. Uh, so, anyway. I hope that was useful for you guys. Uh, just to give you more of a heads up, I know this isn't like a fucking playing video, but at the same time, it's pretty important to outline or to tell you guys like what I'm doing. And to give you a heads up as far as like, okay, here are the mods I'm going to use. Here's kind of the idea. And because these mods will change the flavor of the Let's Play a lot. Um, so I think it's pretty critical to outline those at the start. So, all right. Uh, if you guys made it this far, why don't you put on Thrushy Butthole in the comments below. Yeah, Thrushy. Thrushy Butthole. Boom. All right, guys, I don't know why the fuck I come up with these names, but I just do. Uh, anyway, like and subscribe, you guys. And uh, again, thank you all for your support. Hitting that like button makes a big, big diff. And uh, man, just thank you so much. All right, talk to you later. See ya.